What's up guys, I'm showing you how to unroot and unbrick your HTC One. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you are going to want to do is head on over to the link in the description and it will take you to this page right here. You're going to want to go ahead and download this. There's a big download button, you can't really miss it. And once you download that, you just go to the folder where you downloaded it. For me it's in my HTC One folder. You see it's called the RUM7 Singular, which I don't know why it's called Singular because they're AT&T now. But but before we run this, you are going to want to reboot your phone into the bootloader. So let's go ahead and minimize that. So to reboot into the bootloader, you're just going to want to do ADB reboot bootloader. And you're going to go ahead and hit enter. I'll leave a link below to the HTC drivers for you guys to go ahead and download. But once you are in the bootloader and your phone says fastboot USB, you can close out that window. And you're going to want to fastboot OEM lock your bootloader. As you see, mine is already locked because I have tried this before just to make sure I'm not showing you guys something that doesn't work. So I am already locked, but if you're not, just go ahead and hit enter on this and it will actually reboot you back into the bootloader and it will say relocked as you see right there. So let's go ahead and exit out of this as well. And we can go ahead and go back to the RU file. So what you're gonna do is right click this and run as administrator. All right, you see right here that the RU has loaded up. So we're gonna go ahead and click I understand. Then we're gonna go ahead and click next. And it says, turn on your Android phone and connect it to the PC. We are okay because our phone is in a fast boot USB. So it will automatically reboot into the RUU mode. So we're okay. So we're just going to go ahead and hit next. And it's going to verify the information on our phone. So this will take a second. All right, and it gives us the current image version, which is 1.26. We're going to go ahead and click update. All right, and it's asking us if we want to update our image to this. It's the same one because, like I said, I have already run this. But before this, mine was actually lower. I think it was 1.24, but don't quote me on that. So let's go ahead and click next. And we're gonna go ahead and click next again. Now this will wipe everything on your device. Probably should have mentioned that before. So you wanna make sure you back up anything that's on your phone. And your contacts will be backed up with Google if you sync them that way like I do. So you don't have to worry about any of that. But we're just gonna go ahead and click next. And it's gonna check our phone. And it's, what it's going to do is it's going to flash the RUU file and we'll boot up into stock. That's how you return your AT&T HTC One back to complete stock. Now you will still have the relocked on your bootloader. I'm not sure how to remove that yet, but as soon as I find a way, I will add a link in the description and I will also make a video on it. And I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any like warranty issues or anything like that, you can return your phone back to stock. And I'll see you guys in the next video.